Hi everybody, welcome back to The Moose. We're gonna get right into Amazing Grace, uh, just a uh, great standard gospel song on the banjo. And you remember in the last lesson uh, when Joe and I played the song for you that I mentioned that it was in three-quarter timing and uh, previously all the lessons before this series dealt with 4-4 four, four timing. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about 3-4 timing. We're going to go to the board now. And you'll notice over on, on my right, you'll see the 3 slash 4. Again, that's a time signature. And going back to the series on rhythm and counting, you'll remember that we went through the time signature of 4-4 four, four timing. Okay. Now, remember that the top number, in this case it's going to be 3, is beats per measure. And again, 4, the bottom number, represents the type of note. Okay. So in 3-4 time, we're going to have 3 beats per measure instead of 4. Okay. And those beats are going to be quarter notes, represented by the 4 on the bottom. Now I'm going to uh, pick a little bit for you on the banjo now um, to, to explain this a little bit further. Okay. Now again, with these timings, 4-4 uh, four, four time and 3-4 time, you can, you can think about your timings any way you wish. The best way that you um, are able to think about it, whether you want to tap your foot along again or use a metronome, it's totally up to you. Um, whatever works best for yourself. So how we're going to count this three, uh, four timing now is, is we're just going to count to three instead of four. So it would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if we wanted to play that on the banjo, we can just hit um, three notes for our are three three beats per measure, and uh, so we can we can we can do something like this. four timing. So if you can just think about that timing now as we start to go through um, this song Amazing Grace. And all I'm doing there is hitting the, uh, the middle string with the index finger of my right hand and then the first string with the middle finger of my right hand and the uh, fifth string with my thumb. Again, the middle with the index. I don't know if I said index or middle now. Middle, uh, the third string with the index. First string, middle, and fifth string, thumb. think about that timing um, going through this song Amazing Grace. Now I want to go back to the board uh, again and show you uh, one more note in musical notation and also its rest. And you'll remember in previous lessons we went over the four notes that we dealt with and I think you remember them, the whole note, the half note, the quarter note, and the eighth note. Now within the tablature and the musical notation that's going to be um, associated with these uh, next series of lessons, I'm going to introduce to you the 16th note. Okay, And this is what the 16th note looks like in musical notation. You can see that it's, it's filled in on the bottom, just like the 8th note was, but instead of one flag like the 8th note, now it has two flags. Okay, and you can see them there. And this 16th note is equal to one quarter beat. Okay. 
Now again, it, I'd like to just say to you that in any measure or any timings that you're dealing with, whether it be 4-4 four, four time, 3-4 time, or, or any other timing, again, you can fill these measures up however you see fit. Um, as you go along after a while when you start your improvisations, you can, again, use quarter, half, eighth, sixteenth, or whatever you want to, to break up these measures. So, again, in, in, this, uh, in this next series, you're going to see the introduction of the sixteenth note within the standard notation. And also in the standard notation, you'll see, um, you'll see these, these symbols as well. And all this is, again, when, when two of these notes, sixteenth notes or, or eighth notes, are tied together, you'll, they tie them together like you see there, okay, just on top. Again, with the sixteenth notes, you're going to see the two bars connecting them. So you can think about those two sixteenth notes as having a half beat or the same, um, the same time as an eighth note. So you can think about the two together as an eighth note. Again, we're just dealing with fractions in this musical notation, starting with, uh, starting with one or a whole, then going to the half, then going to the quarter, then going to the eighth, and now we're just adding the sixteenth. So we're just um, splitting everything in half as we move along. And also one more thing before we move on, this is the symbol for a sixteenth rest, and you'll see it's the line with the two, um, two little black dots coming up the side. So, I think we're going to leave it there, everybody, for this one where we're kind of running out of time. And we're going to get into uh, Amazing Grace here in the five-string banjo, and I'm going to be explaining this uh, note for note as we go along. So, I uh, hope you all come back, and uh, we'll dig right into Amazing Grace. <laughs>